recording this meeting and we're going to probably go live in a second, but um, I'm going to take up a little airtime to talk about the Nika Rustica Adobe and how excited we are for this, the Nika Rustica Adobe marquee event with our friends at the Humidor Cigar Shop. So I have a lot of I'm going to start with Ray Warren. Ray is on scene. So I, I'll go with the Drew steak guy first before it will kind of build up to the, the real guests of honor, uh, our folks at the humidor and Mr. JD, but Ray, how's it going tonight? How, how are the vibes on location? Excellent. They have an excellent, excellent crowd here tonight. Uh, a lot of the uh, private members uh, there. I'm not in the members lounge. Private members. Well, that, that was a good decision. Uh, on yeah, their I, part. I figured I, uh, you know, I figured starting with me, Jack, that's probably a good thing because there's only one way it can go and that's up. So I, uh, I took my Tourette's medication this evening and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to be limited on my, on my comments, but I, <laughs> excited to be here. I'm excited to be on with all of you guys in here in the humid uh, humidor shop in Cockeysville, Maryland. Uh, man, some familiar faces. It's great to see all you guys. We've got a nice crowd. They have things set up in the humidor. Uh, they are stacked and packed and ready to go. And I actually just cut another Adobe and uh, getting ready to fire that up. So great night, great vibe. Uh, I got some, some pizza and some of uh, Feeney's unbelievable cookies uh, that she, you know, I'm going to have to have an insulin shot before I leave. I've heard uh, a lot about these, the cookies. <laughs> oh, these were ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But uh, excited to be here, Jack. It's going to be a great event. Tomorrow's going to be a great event. Got a lot going on. We're very excited. Now, uh, Ben Pearson is joining us from Chicago. He is our official cigar reviewer. He is like on the holy panel of cigar review. And tonight he's going to take, a, I mean, he's not going to mess around. If he doesn't like this cigar, he has been instructed to bash it and drag it through the mud. Now, I don't think that that's what's going to happen because it's a Drew Estate cigar and it's wonderful and it's delicious. But Ben, are you prepared to, you know, run it through all the paces? I'm always prepared, man. You know, we just got our samples into these last week. So I've been smoking this daily to really wrap my brain around this blend. And I'm excited to talk about it with everybody tonight. Uh, I'm just as excited as you are. Uh, JD, before we get to you, I want to introduce or talk to some of the folks over at the Humidor. So I'm going to start with Feeney. And, and I, is that Chris next to you? I didn't really get introduced to everybody properly. So I'm going to start with you two guys uh, on the scene. How's it going, you two? Tell us a little bit about the Humidor. We're doing great. Um, we're excited to be here. Uh, it was a big honor for us. So we thank everyone at Drew Estate for uh, choosing our store to do this incredible event. Uh, it's been, I've never really experienced anything like this. It's been very overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> in a good and, way, uh, oh, an abundance of definitely excitement. In a good way. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris is next to me and my uh, father is on the line. Uh, Jim Bakunis, you can see him. He's from home hopefully we're going to get him over here tomorrow to see everybody well and tell the people what's going on tomorrow and why we're excited about the uh the in-person event so tomorrow we will be here uh with running specials all day on the new cigar um and we have ray will be back with us again tomorrow and we have our local representative was Lisette's going to be here and we have our guest of honor pedro coming in town which we think we haven't seen him in I, it's been well, a couple I, I of saw, years. <laughs> I saw Pedro probably a year and a half ago. Oh, wow. Well, you, I don't think you guys are ready. He's in rare form right now. Uh, he's, I, I mean, he's, I he was cooped up for too long, and now he's, you know, really attacking with some, some real rigor. So, you know, stock up on the jingling and, and just be ready for the event of your lives. It's going to be. Mean, we, we know Pedro from back in Nicaragua. Like when we back in the day. Cigar Safari. It, it was when they first started. I've heard that there's a story involving a monkey that we might get into later, but I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil the whole uh, the whole kitten caboodle. Now, uh, Jonathan Drew, how are you, sir? Uh, how excited are we for what is another marquee event? Yeah, we're we're definitely excited. You know, uh, it's great to be with friends and family. You know, um, uh, Feeney, Chris, everybody, Jim. You know, uh, one of the greatest events of one of my favorite events 
of my life was was event that I did at you guys store. It was awesome. And I've done a number of them throughout the years, but the the love of, you know, just the way they treat their customers and their suppliers and of course the food, the food. Uh, you know, it's one of the reasons why their store is, is one of the premier stores in the United States. So we really kind of uh, look at them always as family and doing event with them, a marquee event for us. Uh, yeah, they're a great customer, a big customer, not just of us, but of many great brands um, from all the main cigar producing countries. So they're a great supporter of the uh, of premium tobacco and of Nicaragua. And just really lovely, lovely family. So I'm very happy to, to spend a little time and uh, be here for and with you guys. They they did. They were so kind to send us a care package to the office, you know, in celebration of this event. And I found out that the cookies were amazing because they were all gone by the time I got to them. So, I mean, that's that's uh, I'm not going to say I'm disappointed. I'm honored to be here um, before we get into any of the, you know, nostalgia or any of the fun stuff we have going on tonight. We're, let's sell some cigars. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about some of the cigars we have available uh, tonight. Not only is it the Nicarustica Adobe, but this is the very first event in the world where you can get some of the Nicarustica swag. So I'm holding right here. Um, what is this amazing Nicarustica ashtray? Uh, we also have this like very chic uh, Nicarustica kind of roll up. I think that these cigar carry cases, those are in the past. Now we're going compact, baby. There is a uh, Nicarustica stick lighter. Um, I even I even am, am christening my Nicarustica. Did oh, Jack freeze on us? All right. Well, Jack's going to work on that for a bit. I guess while we wait for him, should we uh, talk a little bit about the cigar, John? I think that'd be a good idea. What about you, Ray? Am I the yeah, only one fire, talking here? Yeah, fire away, Ben. All right. So while we wait for uh, our host to uh, figure out his technical issues, which, listen, listen, this happens. We have these issues on these Zoom events. We figure out a way to get past the shit. Sorry, <laughs> past all this stuff. So we're talking Nico Rustica Adobe tonight. And for those of you guys that don't know me, I've been with Drew Estate for about 10 years now. I've been reviewing cigars for over 15 years. So that's why John likes me to come on and do some of these reviews for him. So, and one thing about my reviews, I'm not going to talk about 30 different flavor descriptions and this and that. That's just not how I talk about tobacco. So when you really talk about the Adobe, what we're discussing is a really medium to full bodied cigar with that classic Nicaraguan spice. You know, this really tastes like Esteli. It's got that Nicaragua flavor in there, but it's got that really approachable quality as well. I'm a Habano smoker. I smoke Herrera Esteli every day. It's one of my favorite cigars we make. The Habano wrapper is one of my favorites in the industry. And it's also a really versatile tobacco. You can do a lot with Habano. With this cigar, it does maintain that slight rustic quality that we expect in the Nico Rustica. But it's a little bit different. You know, where I consider that broadleaf original Rustica, that's those heavy leaf lovers. That's that league of guy, the undercrown guy. That's that everyday banger for those heavy, heavy guys. This one, it's got enough flavor for that smoker, but think about more that classic Nicaragua, that bit brighter spice. You know, really those flavors we expect out of a Nicaraguan tobacco. And what I really like is we throw the Brazilian binder on this, which to me has a great richness to it adds that little slight sweetness on the back end of this blend that is more spice forward than a lot of our other Habanos. Um, you know, this is that everyday banger. We're talking about a cigar under $7. This is that everyday stick for those guys that want that bright spice, a little bit of that roasty, nutty woodiness to it. And again, just going to be a staple in the humidor, I think, moving forward for these guys. Uh, I know it's going to be joining my rotation. Again, I'm an everyday Habano guy and having something with a little more body to it, a little more spice to it, you know, really just, it, it encapsulates that Nico Rustica brand. It fits the blend. So I think people are going to really enjoy this. Again, it's going to be a little different than that broadly if you guys have smoked before, a little bit more on that spice, a little brighter, but uh, I'd be really curious to see what everybody thinks now that we're getting these out there for people to smoke them. What a, what a beautiful review, Ben. I was, I was talking and I thought that you guys were so incredibly captivated by what I was saying. And then I realized that nobody was moving at all. I was like, uh-oh, I think that I might not have internet. Um, no, you screwed up, so I took over. Perfect. That's why, you know, that's why we need our our high, our 
a high committee of review to be present at these sort of things. You know, not only do they have some tech savvy, but they have the real cigar knowledge that people show up for. Um, now, I, I we got through some of the deals, but I did not get to mention that uh, throughout this event and potentially some of the event tomorrow, we are going to be giving away uh, three items of custom Nika Rustica Adobe uh, swag hand painted at Subculture Studios, but we'll also be giving away three tickets to Barnes, a barn smoker of your choosing. So that will be either on the Facebook comments, the uh, YouTube comments when this video is posted or potentially in store. So uh, keep an eye out for those. We're really excited about that. Uh, not only do we have all those amazing deals, but we have some amazing raffles and giveaways and sweepstakes as well. So another thing, JD, that people are going to be able to get where they can only get a handful of times a year is the Savage Feast, which is your event only cigar. And there is also a Savage Feast cigar rest. So JD, we've told the story before, but maybe people in the audience tonight have not heard it. How did the Liga 10 Savage Feast come to be? And uh, why is it so special for a marquee event if somebody's able to get their hands on one of these? Yeah, first of all, you know, uh, that was a great review, Ben. You know, uh, you do great reviews. It's when, when you started working with us 10 years ago, uh, I had been reading your reviews, as you know, I guess I'm just a little people, and I had seen this kid's, this guy's reviews everywhere, you know, and I was like, wow, he's really able to, to process not just the way it tastes, but really going into, um, lots of times the leaf construction, what the cigar construction, the leaf, uh, how it's used in other blends or throughout the world. And, you know, you really hit this one on the head. Yes, it, it's definitely it's definitely rugged. And, it, and I still call it the six buck Chuck because, you know, uh, Nika Rustica just is a huge commitment from Drew Estate to still represent who we are, which is a blue collar company. You know, we're not one of these fancy companies that have $20 and more cigars and that whole perception. We, we really, uh, we, we grew up uh, producing cigars for the regular everyday knock around guy, guys like us, policemen and firemen and servicemen and women. And that's really the core of our identity and, and who we are as a company. So for us to be able to produce some of these cigars where they come out, 15 bucks, 10 bucks, $20, you know, some of those leaves are just really celebrated leaves and incredibly prized possessions of the company that we've aged a long time or bought from special places, uh, real rare leaves. But when you're able to produce something of this quality and get the responses that we're getting for a $6, you know, with taxes, everything changes a little bit and that's not Feeney and, and their fault. That's just, you know, the state of uh, tax uh, laws and stuff. But to be able to create a product of this quality and caliber at that price, we're really, really uh, uh, proud of it. And you did a great job in describing it. And it's so true, you know, the wrapper is so expensive on cigars that it really contributes a lot to what you wind up paying at the counter. And these leaves here that we're using for wrapper or on this product, um, they were not as, as thick and absolutely beautiful as the Herrera leaf, but it would be the same leaves that, that end up on the cigar, on the wrapper. So, you know, it's a great product, great description, um, excuse me, great review. In terms of Savage Feast, this is a different story. The, the Savage Feast is a part of the Liga Pravada uh, family. Uh, many of you guys have smoked the Liga 9, you smoked the T52. And then uh, as we approached the 10 year anniversary, we decided to really honor the brand with the, there you go, Feeney's got it right there. And uh, we honored the brand with a 10 year um, celebratory stick, uh, Liga Pravada 10 anniversarial and Willie this was the first time that Willie was chartered with blending a Liga Pravada brand for the company prior to that it was a different set of us who blended the products so there was a lot of resistance within the company from different elk who said hey look Liga 9 and T52 are so well loved if this thing doesn't get the accolades as 9 or 52 the league of 10, you know, we could hurt the reputation of Willie, et cetera. And, you know, I was the final call on that. I said, absolutely not. Uh, Willie's our master blender. And 
he's ready for this brand. So when we created the League of Ten, there was really it's been a magical brand. And the league, the 10th anniversary is is just it is a heavy like League of Nine on steroids is the way a lot of people describe it. It's just a heavy, very, very um it's beautiful and elegant, but it, it is really a powerful uh meaty blend. This uh this product is the Savage Feast is something we did special for, for my events, for events like this, for the marquee events, where it's the, um, uh, the, the, what's that pig size, Ben? Of which one, John? That size, I, I was the ferroflying pig. Fair so it's pig, the ferroflying yeah. pig mold. That's the mold that we use to create the product. And, uh, you know, that's something we don't make a lot of. We don't have a lot of rollers who can roll that cigar. So it was something for us, you know, not we're not going to produce a lot of it. It's not for sale. And it's something that's just special to end cap, something that's really important like this. And and with the humidor and bringing these sticks out and, you know, using them as part of the promotion and stuff, adds a lot of fun to it. And, you know, this comes back to, to a cigar where everything, you know, I think still across the board is like a farmer. I think of like, all right, if you're spending 55 or $60 a pound for Connecticut Shade Wrapper versus 24, 23, $25 a pound for this type of wrapper, which is basically a hybrid wrapper from the Connecticut River Valley, you know, why would this wrapper cost four times the price? And it really comes down to yield. It's so thick, it's so heavy that, you know, it just takes more pounds to make a thousand cigars. So, uh, you know, the, that's it. I mean, it's just we're not going to sit around and, and go into all of the express uh, uh, attributes of leather and spice and everything on this one. But I can just tell you, if you're looking for the, the League of Provada 10th anniversary, um, uh, now's your chance to grab them. Uh, there isn't going to be that many boxes out and spread around this year or next year. And for those of you that haven't had that anniversario, it is it is an absolute masterpiece. I mean, I, I will say that I'm obviously a little biased, but that, that cigar is everything it needed to be. It really celebrates Liga Pravada. It takes Liga Pravada to that next level. That wrapper, John, that new hybrid we're doing on that thing, I, I it's insane. The oil content, the thickness of it, but the way it burns, the way it tastes, it's it's something very special. So again, we're not going to have a lot of that thing, but if you see them, scoop them up because there, there isn't anything else like this cigar. And I yeah. believe not only do we have, um, which we'll talk about in a little bit, not only does Feeney have these Savage Feast with her, and I'll have you show it off and hand model, but she also has a special version of the Undercrown 10 available. Um, so there's the Savage Feast. And then we also have the Undercrown 10 Tuani. And that would signify that Mr. Pedro Gomez is in town, which is, which is <laughs> exciting and, and, and uh, scary all at the same time. So we'll, uh, if you guys will um, tell a little bit of, about what's going down tomorrow and kind of tell people about where to come, what time to show up and what some of the deals will be. And we'll, we'll kind of pimp the event tomorrow a little bit. So we will be here um throughout the day tomorrow, Pedro will be in the store, hopefully by three o'clock and stay probably till around seven. Um, we have all the swag, which it was amazing unpacking everything. I That was probably my first time unloading a pallet <laughs> of items. And it was like Christmas. Every time we opened a box, we're like, wow, look at this. Wow, look at that. So we have all of the swag in the store. Um, the deals will run um, throughout the day. You can stop by. We are gonna have food from Mission Barbecue, which is one of our favorites. Um, we have a big tent set up. We have a pretty big outdoor area. So we have a tent set up in the back with tables and chairs that you can sit and hang out and eat all day. We just opened our patio um, near our entrance that you can hang out, um, but we have lots of room. We want everybody to come out and enjoy. Um, this is actually our 25th year in business, which I know kind of coincides with Drew Estate uh we've been with them since they started um and we plan on being with them for many many more years to come um i i truly think they're one of the most creative ones in the industry and i think that's what brought our bond with them is just it's amazing the products like when i saw all this stuff for the first time i was like wow that those people in that office it's just amazing it's you have to come and see it um this is actually my favorite thing 
I actually stole one. I took it home. <laughs> it's sitting on my desk already. <laughs> so it's definitely worth the uh, coming out just to see that. <laughs> I don't know if that technically constitutes stealing, but yes, I think that you're <laughs> we're more than happy for you to uh, to take one with you. Um, I'm going to do some some boring stuff again and talk about a little bit about some of the uh, offers that we have. The again, this is part of the deal package, the wonderful ashtray. And we, I don't know if we mentioned it, you know, enough that this is the first chance you'll be able to buy Nikarusika Adobe. This is the first event we are having um, and we won't have another event for, for some time. So this is, if you want to be one of the first people to smoke or buy a box of Nikarusika Adobe, this is your chance. Um, I want to ask you guys a little bit about the way, uh, the way humidor is spelled um, <laughs> because I, I uh, now I know it like the back of my hand, but talk a little bit about the humidor. We actually, I wasn't actually a part of that. That was um, my brother and my dad originally created the business. And I think really it was our way of making it different, you know, from everybody else in the world that was calling their stores the humidor. Um, but it, it's kind of stuck. You know, people know it. They they know how to get to our website because we spell it wrong. <laughs> it also comes in handy. Like if somebody wants my email address. I just tell them, you know, my name is humidor.com. They spell it wrong. And, uh, and I don't get an email from them. That's, that's perfect. Now, I am, uh, I am expecting somebody just gave me a little call and they're going to be joint. We're going to be Zoom bombed here in a second by Mr. Pedro Gomez. But while I get Pedro situated, JD, I want you to talk a little bit about what we got up to this last past weekend um, and the barn smoker experience. Hey, you know, that's so weird. I was listening to you uh, mention that this is the first time you can buy Nika Rustica. And I know that the program that you guys are doing with the Humidor is not just for Nika Rustica, it's for all Drew Estate cigars, whether it's Liga Pravada, Underground, every single thing. So, you know, the deals and the promotions are for all of the brands. And, and I know Feeney has everything that we, that we make. But um, it, kick, it hit me just now, dude, that... This is the first time you can buy Nika Rustica because yes. we've been working on this brand so damn long. And remember, you know, Nika Rustica has been around a while. So it's, it's like people are like, is this new? Like I, I thought that Nika Rustica, yeah, it was, it was a brand that we released that we never produced enough products for. It never had the right boxes for. Everything was a problem with this brand. And we were like, so many people love it. The price is so right. The cigar is so good. And it was just never, you know, it was never uh, treated with love and care the way we, we tr pretty much treat all of our brands to state this one for whatever reason. Um, it stood in a weird place at the company and we've worked on it so long to give it the respect it, it, it deserves. And I thought that we'd been selling it already, but we haven't. We brought it to Barn Smoker and that was a trip. We did great. It was our first Barn Smoker back um, after like two or three years, you know, with the whole COVID. So uh, people went crazy. It was unbelievable. Uh, it really was. There was like well over a thousand people there. I think it was 1,200 or 1,300 people between the two days. It was nuts. We broke every record in terms of like attendance. And we just were hitting on all cylinders, you know, uh, across the board from the D Drew Estate 25th anniversary party. Um, on Friday night, and then two full days of barn smoker days. And, you know, as Feeney said, it's true, 20, where we're, you guys are 25 years, we're 26, but we started around the same time. We've watched the industry grow. We've watched our customers grow, and, and the customers at your store, who you've known for 20 years and 25 years or 10, um, you know, we're each part of each other's lives. And that's one of the unique things about cigar smoking, you know, is um it's not like just these regular packaged goods or regular it's 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 so different and there's so much of the culture and relaxation getting to know each other and people you know uh it's just a very deep personal space so it's really for us it's as much of a privilege to be a part of your guys lives and the journey that the humidor has taken throughout the years too for us because you guys really resonate with the care and the the 
just customer service that's unbelievable, which is still really important in our business. So yeah, a barn smoker, we still have more of them coming. Um, we have, uh, I believe we, we did Florida. So we have uh, Connecticut's next, and then we have Pennsylvania, and then we have Kentucky, and then we have the Savage Feast. So we have plenty of barn smokers. Most of them are either like sold out or close to sold out and stuff like that, but you can still find it on barnsmoker.com and see if you can scrounge up a ticket or something like that. So I don't know what's still available. I just saw somebody blow into the Zoom chat like a, like a Hollywood celebrity. I see Pedro Gomez. <laughs> Pedro, thank you for joining us. I know you're running around like crazy. How's it going? I know, man. Everything's going great. Well, yeah. before I say anything, I just want to thank Chris and Finney. Thank you so very much for hosting this beautiful virtual event with Jonathan Drew. Tomorrow we're going to be there with you guys. Uh, and it's going to be a great event. Pedro, I have two questions for you, and then I'm going to release you back into the wild. First of all, you told an amazing story about Adobe and the meaning of that name, um, besides just, you know, Nicarustica and El Brujito. Can you tell everybody about Adobe a little bit? Oh, absolutely, man. You know, when it comes to Adobe, it's a construction material that we use in Nicaragua. And if you have the opportunity, well, Chris and Finney has been there. Uh, Finney's parents have been there, too. And you will see when you are driving around Nicaragua, there is a lot of adobe houses. So when it comes to adobe, it's a construction material that we use in Nicaragua to build houses. And it's, one of, it's a beautiful touch when it comes to the infrastructure in my country, which is Nicaragua. And I'm super, super proud that Drew stays bringing that concept to the platform when it comes to premium cigars. Because it's a story that everybody should know about it. And Nica Rustica, you know, you got the original one, the Nica Rustica El Brujito, but Adobe is the rustic Havana tobacco experience that we can't wait for everybody to try. Now, Pedro, you had talked about the, my second question a little bit earlier uh, when you were talking about Cigar Safari. Um, now, I know that I know that this squad has some pictures and stuff that they want to show uh, a little bit later. Some pretty <laughs> oh prolific. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and I know that we we have not announced any cigar safari coming up, so I don't want to you know yes. promise anything no, to anybody. No, no, but I just not. just tell people about you know the experience you get when you come to Cigar Safari. Well, you know, first of all, you know, when I have the opportunity to meet Chris and Finney and and, and and these guys, you know, they came from the store and it was amazing to take them around Nicaragua to the lake. I mean, me and Jonathan, we got a story with these guys, with monkey in the, in the boat, you know, <laughs> which is a story that we're going to share it tomorrow. So I'm going to see a lot of people in the store tomorrow. But when it comes to cigar safari is, I mean, there are cigar companies or cigar factories that they do provide cigar tours in Nicaragua. But when it comes to cigar safari is one of the best and i'm not going to say this because i work for jewish Day. i will say that it is the best cigar tour in the industry and it is very interesting to see my man ben, ben pearson i met ben in one of my, my cigar safari tours and then 2011 ben, 2011 he came with this group botl correct me van Graham. so he yep. came with these guys and then, you know, a month after, Ben became one of our Drew Estate family. And it is amazing to see the amount of people that really gravitate around Drew Estate as soon as they have seen the factory itself. Because the brands that you see on the shelf, all those brands have beautiful stories. Stories of pain, love, and great, great moments. And at the end of the day, you know, it's you giving yourself a chance to travel to Nicaragua come to the country that is known for lakes and volcanoes and not just lakes and volcanoes and amazing people it's about the cigar that comes from that beautiful land and we had the opportunity to 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 host you know uh the humidor uh in this cigar safari tours we got the opportunity i have the opportunity jack believe it or not to <laughs> meet a celebrity that was part of the ravens he was i think the quarterback but i met that guy at the cigar tour and it was amazing man it was amazing to see a lot of people not just coming to Nicaragua but truly appreciating what is behind the scenes of what is like to make handmade cigars 
So everybody that haven't had the opportunity to be a cigar society, I will encourage you to go. We might have them available next year. It's not, well, it is a corporate decision, of course, you know. Eventually. But I'm super excited. Yes, I'm super excited to bring you guys to my hometown in Esteli, Nicaragua. And it is something that when we throw those tours, is with heart and soul. And you will see what Drew Estate is all about. What you guys see at, uh, the floor, at the Barn and Smoker, yes, it's nice. And how the Barn and Smoker came to be, it was because Cigar Safari was on fire. The endless list of people that want to go, it was unreal. And I'm very sure that Jonathan touched on that one, how the Kentucky Barn and Smoker came to be. But now we got this mega amazing event all over the United States, but the roots comes back to Cigar Safari all the time. Hey, Jack, My man. <laughs> the one thing I wanted to say, and, and Feeney and Chris, is, you know, Pedro is going to be at the store tomorrow. And anybody who can make it to the store who have, and it's great to take advantage of the promotions that Drew Estate's running. And it's great to, to get your, your Savage Feast and your, your Twani, which is a special squad that we make for Pedro. It's an underground 10, uh, special for his taste and his, and his blend. But really to spend some time with Pedro there, you know, there's a reason Pedro's position at the company is factory spokesman. Um, it's different than an ambassador, even though he falls under the ambassador category. He really is a person and the person who really has the heart to, to, to show what Drew Estate's about. You know, we, as a company, we play hard, we, we explore, we, you know, do things that people said never could have been done. And, you know, Pedro's a person who throughout the organization from top down, the amount of respect for, for Pedro and for UP, you know, uh, Thank you, man. I'm looking forward to the people coming to the store, shaking your hand and, and you know, your, your spirit, you know, Pedro's going to put the music on. He's going to crack a few <laughs> He's going to have some fun. If there's dancing, he's going to be dancing. And yes, that's, sir. that's what it's really about. It's about, you know, showing the heart of not just uh, Drew Estate, but our factory, our city, Esteli, and uh, representing to the fullest. So everybody who can make it there, come yes. and, uh, you know, uh, really get to experience the people who work at the factory, the people who've really built this company. And uh, of course, a bit of a refined touch, Mr. Pedro Gomez has become quite a, uh, a uh, Presidente aficionado. <laughs> well, you know, Jonathan, it is amazing, man. I always believe that in life, God puts you angels. And I will never have the opportunity to talk to all of these guys if it was not for your support, my friend. So thank you so very much for believing in me. And, you know, and from the bottom of my heart, I just want to congratulate and give a big, big shout out to Finney and Chris, 25 years. It is amazing, man. There's a lot of, not, not just cigar brands that comes and goes. There's a lot of business, cigar business that comes and goes. But this guy has been through the ticks and the tens. And when you got the opportunity to go to the human there and see this beautiful store, which is now, it's in, a, it's in a house, which is really, really cool. The last time that I went to see Chris, yes, we went, that was last year. And Chris took us to this amazing restaurant, you know, mom and pop restaurant. And we were telling stories about back in the days with Drew Stay And Lisette Peña, who is our territory manager in the area, she couldn't believe all these stories. And it's not the heart and pain that Drew Estate had been going through in the last 26 years. It's the heart and pain that the human have been going through. So uh, Chris and Finney, I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. It's gonna be a great event. We're gonna, we're gonna have great deals. And I can't wait to see my old friends and meet new people. All right, everybody. So enjoy the evening because Jonathan has a lot of things to share with you guys. Oh, so did you? Where is Jim? <laughs> We're excited, Pedro. My man. Where's Jim? Jim looks Oh, Jim. Oh, yes. Oh, there is Jim right here. <laughs> Sir, how you doing? I remember once, bro, I remember when, you know, the accident happened to you and Jonathan said to me, yo, you better call 911. I was like, Jonathan, there is, not, there is no 911 in Nicaragua. We got to take this, 
we got to take this man to, to the hospital, you know? And Jen, I'm so happy to see you, my friend, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. So we can share the stories in person because, you know, when it comes to virtual events, it's great. But when it comes to have this experience in person, it is the best. Where's Jim at? If he talks, Dad, like, you're on mute. Oh, you got to unmute, Jack. Unmute Jim because Jim has something that he want to share. <laughs> I was going to say the monkey story with me <laughs> and my wife is better than my head. Believe me. Well, yes, it, it is a story right there. You know, every group has a story and yours and your wife's story is the one that is extremely difficult to forget. <laughs> But you know what? Life is about stories, and I'm glad are that. You guys, are you guys saving that story or something? I got, we oh, have no. a monkey. I'm waiting for a monkey picture. There, there's a <laughs> there's a photo of the alleged event. Uh, we don't have to, we don't have to wait for it necessarily to be thrown up. I don't want to put uh, Laura on the spot, but I have cued the monkey picture. And this was kind of our grand, our grand finale was the, the monkey <laughs> picture. Okay, wait, let me see. I, I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling it up now. So if somebody wants to tell the story. Yeah, um, I just. Uh, well, yeah. I do want to say before um, Pedro has to drop off, I know we're going to catch up tomorrow, but when we did come to Nicaragua, I think it was in 2009, was that 10? Yes. Um, we came home and, you know, we thought we knew a lot about tobacco. And when we came there and, you know, between you and Jonathan walking us through that factory, I came home and I said, every cigar in this humidor should be at least a hundred dollars. I, it was amazing. You know, we got to blend this, our own cigars there. Um, it was an experience. I mean, we still talk about it with the group that went on that trip. It was, it was definitely one of the best trips I've ever taken in the cigar industry. Except for the monkey part. Okay, now can somebody? (laughs) There's Lucy. Can somebody? Oh my God! My wife. Can somebody walk me through what I'm seeing? (laughs) Well, I'm gonna walk you up on this one, man. (laughs) When I we start to do the tour with Jonathan, I mean, Jonathan and myself, we were not experts when it comes to tours. So Jonathan said to me, "You know what, Pedro? It will be amazing to have Lucy in the boat." because Lucy is a very friendly monkey. I was like, yeah, man, absolutely, man. We're going to have Lucy in the boat. They're going to bring bananas from the from Granada City. That's the beautiful city in Nicaragua, Colonia. See, by the way, one of the biggest tourism attraction in the country. So, Jack, just for you to know, because when it comes to cigar safari back in the old days, it was cigar safari, where we were touring the, uh, in a boat where we were seeing around 350 little islands. And one of those islands, you got the monkey island. So these monkeys used to jump on the boat. And I remember that I was telling everybody, hey, make sure to grab your camera. Back in those, those days, it was not a smartphone. It was those cameras. You know, everybody was taking pictures and stuff like that. But Lucy, I don't know, it was like, she went straight to Spinney's mother. <laughs> And I remember right after that, Jonathan said to me, hey, Pedro, no more monkeys on the boat. Do you hear this? Yes, sir. No more monkeys on the boat. So we're just throwing the bananas, you know, far away oh, wow. from that to the monkeys to jump <laughs> on the boat. So. <laughs> you guys had well, the, the two, last. The two the of last... them were ready to jump into the water. <laughs> and I think there were sharks in the water, right? Yes. Yeah. Actually, somebody say, don't jump into the water because there are bull sharks in the water. They and were both ready got... to do that. <laughs> so just so you guys know, this is a, Jim is so <laughs> right. Jim is so right. The the when the when Lucy came on the boat, Feeny started freaking out. I mean, she just totally lost it. She's like, "What now? This monkey get right next to you. If you got like earrings on or anything shiny or silver, that monkey, she's your best friend. She wants to grab your ears. She wants to touch you. She wants to look at you right in the eyes." And it's just a freak show. You got to really just <laughs> calm and just chill. Feeny stuff. That's true. <laughs> All I mean, right, this, guys. Is a leg- this is a legendary cigar safari story. I mean, everybody that goes on safari knows that there was one trip that was screwed everything up for the monkeys. I didn't know it was this store, so that's great. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> those monkeys are really skinny now because we have stopped going there and giving them those Granada bananas. Well, that monkey actually did... Um, like take its hand and rub my mom's back, which terrified her even more. So I don't think my mom has ever gone out of the country after that trip. 
<laughs> not wait, even wait. the local zoo. <laughs> no. Was it you or was it your mom that was like hanging off the side of the boat? Like, I think both of us were. We were both ready to jump over. <laughs> yeah, that was some. Oh my goodness. Well, you guys were the last um, monkey trip ever and you're the first Nika Rustica store ever. So that's how we're making it up to you for, uh, for traumatizing <laughs> you with, uh, with monkeys. Um, and I don't know if there's any, uh, any better way to end our evening than with that, that beautiful soliloquy. I'm going to, again, kind of totally ro- ruin the mood and kill the vibe and just talk about, you know, things that are totally transactional like our amazing, you know, deals we have on Nika Rustica Adobe, all Drew Estate stuff. We have some Nika Rustica swag. We have the Savage Feast pig. We have the uh, Savage Feast cigar tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to have Pedro there with the Tuani and the, he has his Chavetta coin. So there's all the, all the cigars and deals and everything that you guys could ever need. There's going to be food there tomorrow. So if you guys are in the area, please check it out. We're going to have some amazing raffles. Um, so this is the part of the night where we say goodbye to those that are uh, tuning in uh, via the interwebs. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Yeah, thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Jonathan. Thanks, now, thanks everybody.